Hi, this is PD at Berserk Arcade at berserkarcade.com, and today I wanted to issue the challenge for, uh, well, our community challenge number two. Uh, for this month, we're actually going to be creating the game Frogger, or at least the, the basic elements of the game Frogger, and there's actually quite a few of them. Uh, it's not really, individually, they're not hard, uh, but it's going to be putting a lot of these things together is the main emphasis of this challenge. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome, and I'm going to head to the Wikipedia page. And I'm going to go look at the picture for Frogger. And I want to go over uh, all the elements. There's actually a lot of uh, online uh, games of Frogger. Uh, clones, which is basically what we're making anyway. So feel free to go check some of those out. But the things that I wanted to uh, emphasize in this challenge is uh, you start off with a frog. And of course, this can, can be anything you want. Some sort of uh, representation for the player. And he starts down here in this line. And these uh, cars up here, which is it's supposed to be a road, and these cars move in different directions. And if you notice, they're spaced differently. And here's the frog here. And there's different types. And they, they're spaced differently. They move at different rates. Uh, the basic idea is that you've got to hop through them. And while well, you get to this little rest zone here, there's nothing actually happening here. Uh, it's just a place to rest. And then you have uh, this water scene here. Then you have these turtles that go back and forth. And same thing with the logs, they, it's alternating directions and uh, which way they move. And anyway, you gotta hop through all these. Uh, some of the turtles, if I recall right, it looks like right here, uh, they go up and down throughout the water. And of course, if you're on it while it goes into the water, you just automatically lose. I'm not really sure why the frog can't go in the water, but uh, that's the way they designed the game and those are the rules we're gonna follow. Uh, but there used to be lily pads up here and you have to navigate your frog through all the traffic, through all of the frogs, the logs, later levels had alligators uh, that you couldn't jump on. But anyway, you had to actually get into the lily pad and you had to fill all these slots up. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm recalling four in the original. So I'm gonna stick to, well, I'll let you pick whatever you want. I'd, I'd want at least four. Five is fine. If you wanna do more, you can do more too. I think it would just get a little too repetitive if, you've, if you had too much up there. Also, one of the key elements of the game was you had this timer down here, and you actually only had so long to actually fill up all these little slots with your frogs. Uh, so you had to keep track of that. Now, this is something new that we haven't covered yet as far as uh, timers, uh, but they're not that hard. I might actually come up with a tutorial at some point this week or after Gen Con uh, on how to create a timer. It's not that hard. As far as the actual progress bar goes, we've covered progress bars a few times now. And this can simply be a label. Uh, it's just adjusting the size of it. But uh, if you want to work ahead, go ahead. Just take a look at timers on Unity, and you should be able to find one quite easily. Uh, they're not that hard to do, so feel free to try it. Uh, but again, just to reiterate the things that I'm looking for in this month's challenge is uh, basically a road scene or some two different scenes. You know, This is the water one. This is the road one. Uh, you'll have some representation for your character. In this case, it's a frog. Uh, alternating traffic, uh, moving at different speeds and different directions. And of course, when I say different directions, I really do mean alternating. Like this one moves this direction, this one moves that direction. Uh, the, ability, the ability to move your, your avatar, we'll call it, uh, through the traffic. And we're gonna do this with the arrow keys, uh, up, down, left, right. And when you get to this area, basically the same thing, except switch it up a bit. Uh, honestly, I'm probably just gonna use uh, generic um, game assets, uh, the stuff that comes with Unity cubes, spheres, cylinders, stuff like that. So if you actually have an artistic person in your group, by all means, feel free to, you know, go crazy on the assets. But uh, for me, I'm just going to be using uh, basic primitives. So I might, you know, use cylinders down here and cubes or something up here. But anyway, uh, we'll have a, a different scene. So I am going to stick with the road and a water scene. Uh, hop up. Fill these up. Uh, when they're full, I want the uh, the level to end, and you basically replenish yourself. Let's actually stick with the exact same uh, scene, and we'll have that scene itself actually reset. Because usually we go on to uh, a different scene when we finish the scene, uh, finish the level that we're currently on. This time here, let's actually stick on the same scene and actually work on getting the scene itself to reset. So that means we're going to have to bring the frog back down to here. Uh, leave one representation of the frog up here in the yeah, the lily pads that were supposed to be up here. Uh, counter of lives. 
Uh, restart the timer. I'm uh, not 100% sure what this little icon represented. Uh, and of course you'll want to score. And I'm only going to make it one player. Uh, two player might be fun, but uh, that's you know just kind of an extra thing. Uh, that's it. This month, make Frogger. <laughs> I'll be glad to see your entries. Bye-bye.